What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Dang, I said that kind of fast. Crazy. Hope you guys have like have been liking the content, all the stuff. I'm definitely kicking up the Sparking Zero content. I have some what if videos for you guys because y'all have been doing very, very good on that. Please, please, please make sure you guys go back to my what if playlist. I had a, a whole playlist for it. I'm gonna be going back to those videos and trying to see if I how I can recreate them in Sparking Zero and all that good stuff. But with that being said, we have a Futani, uh, Furutani, sorry producer interview again so we can get some more incentive about the game uh we also have something else uh to dive into about the actual uh look of how the game is going to look when you buy the physical edition or whatever uh just like the tidbits of the game stuff like that so another news and update so again leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new let's get on some more sparky zero content so we have what was the incentive for reviving the budokai tenkaichi series after so many i feel like we've heard this answer a lot because i mean we pretty much know the answer あの、昨今、プラットフォームだったりとか技術の進歩があり、よりあの当時からしたらですね、あのもう一段深い体験というか、あの武道会的な。Yeah, we already heard that. We want to see if there's anything new. So, what, uh, what inspired the development of Pokémon and how does it build upon the legacy of the Budokai Tenkaichi series? This is actually very interesting. Of course, as, as I said, this game is a sequel to the Budokai Tenkaichi series. Tenkaichi シリーズをしっかりとあの受け継ぐ作品としてま作らせていただいていまして、あのシリーズの作品として作らせていただいています。あの、スパーキングゼロという名前なんですけれども、ま、日本では元々武道会展開するあの、スパーキングメテオという名前で出ていたものになっておりまして、それと同じシリーズ作品として作っているものになります。なので、あの、我々
We're talking about the custom battle. How much freedom do, or episode battle, how much freedom do players have to customize? Yeah, this is custom battle, I mean. So this is, that was the episode battle, this is custom battle. We actually create the scenes and stuff. This is what I want to know. Cause I want to know more about the cinematography um, um, and stuff like that. And like how, cause obviously this tailors into my what if videos. So this is more crucial for what I, what I want to do. So listen. In the custom events, you can customize a lot of things like the positioning of the player. Great, that's great. So I can make sure I can have each character how I, I want them positioned. Uh, going over some, the camera movements, the pose or the facial expressions, etc. So bro, that's just, I'm sorry. That just got me excited. That's perfect. Cause like with the weather stuff, all those emotions and stuff you can, I, I would try to convey. It wouldn't look like it's just on the character. I would have, I would actually give them expressions to showcase what they're saying. Even if I can't quite, cause I don't know how the uh, captions are. I don't know if they're going to have captions or not like subtitles. If I can inc incorporate subtitles, that'd be great. Obviously, voice acting is out of the question. <laughs> but you can ch choose from a variety of pre-made options. You, you will have multiple poses. For example, there are dozens of pre-made pre poses that you can use. There is also a collection with dozens of pre-made facial expressions, so you, so on and so on. So there's quite a lot of freedom when creating a scene to customize the way you want to create it. Yes, bro. That's that that, that is perfect again, perfect for what if, bro. Perfect for what if series. W for our series, guy. W W. All right, come on. Um, so we have so yeah, it's quite a blah 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 blah. Additionally, there is there are scripts and subtitles that you can add to the scene, the cutscenes. So, oh, that just confirmed it. So yes, I can. We can add scripts and tub. So, so wait, actual scripts? I literally know how to write a script. This is gonna go crazy. It's, it's subtitles that you can add to the man. I know, like custom battle. I might be on that heavy. Like I might, I might use. Cause I have two copies. I might use one for PC. Like I'm, I might use my PC for custom battles and stuff like that. And then on the PlayStation, I might do like battles and shit. Cause. Bro, like this is gonna go crazy and modding, of course. There's a pre selection of roughly 5,000 lines that can be used. 5,000. And you can still put your own script in. So, literally, my what if story videos that I've been doing, like I could go back and like write dialogue for those. Because I, I, I still was, I wasn't trying to write dialogue for them and put so much work in it because I didn't know if 100% if it was possible. I hadn't. I think I remember hearing about it, but I, again, I didn't really go back to see, but now it's going to confirm, confirm. There's going to be subtitles. You can put your own script in. I'm definitely going to be writing out some scripts, like some literally some scripts so you guys can see and, uh, see, see if I can create some compelling stories with these and some, man. Oh my God. This is maybe very excited guys. I'm sorry. I'm, as a creative, that made me very excited. Uh, any other creator that knows how to like create scenes and cinematography, stuff like that. That would be cool to work with a team of like people and man, that'd be crazy. That'd be so crazy. All right, here we go. So within these texts, you can also switch uh, certain nouns. Ah, for example, you can change the name of the characters like Goku or Vegeta. So this way you can create your own good dialogue within the scene to build. I can't, I can't, this is, this has to be, this has to be, hold on. The best, this has to be the best part of this interview for me. Me personally, like this is great stuff. All right, so uh, the next part of the interview, I believe, uh, What's your favorite in-game feature and why? Let's see. Let's say the best thing about the game is to actually become a character. It's very important. Therefore, we put a lot of effort in the real-time features that we talked about. These features allow players to experience superpowers that allow you to become super-powered characters. Every single character in a roster is unique. They all have their big special moves and small moments, like, like punches and kicks are customized, so they feel unique. We put a lot of effort into these small details, which... It, which is what makes this game so special to me, man. The fact that you can hear the love from him, and, and you can hear, you can feel it. Like 
he is giving us everything we want and he knows exactly he's, he's like bro i'm listening to everything and to everything i say yes like i love everything that y'all are saying and i love it too so i'm gonna do it like i don't really see him holding back on anything of course he, he didn't he wasn't gonna say gt out loud he's not gonna just say oh yeah gt's gonna be in the game like he's holding information yeah like anybody would for like good promotion but as far as like just being blatant and not putting things in and just oh we're not gonna do this like it we'll see after launch if he if he takes the same approach but so far he's like bro like i'm down to, i'm down to put it all in here man i'm i'm, I'm down for it so i don't know that is stellar stellar interview uh stellar news to hear um so of course i would be happy if the players hopefully notice these details yes yes we'll notice them and do the immersive experience with dragon ball character yeah this is this is this is gonna be great this is gonna be the best dragon ball game ever created this is gonna be the best anime game probably in my opinion that is gonna be crazy now we have something else to talk about because i wanted to cover this really 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 quickly we have hype appreciate you guys for staying tuned if you guys are still watching leave a like on the video again almost done so there's been a couple things uh leaked about the box art and everything so we have some little titties a little little tidbits you know what i'm saying so we see there's a small section of the roster right here which is used i think the main characters that they showed from the trailers and just the main uh tidbits of what you're gonna get immersive stages all that good stuff so i really hope that they hold their hold it on that um this looks like a i hope this is a dual sense or whatever you have a controller but anyway it's probably xbox so yeah it's 100 gigabytes minimum this is for PlayStation, I believe. And with that being said, um, for me, I'm getting on PC. I will have it on PlayStation, but yeah, I'm getting on PC and and PlayStation, but I'm getting it on PlayStation for standard. And so 100 gigabytes for me, that's like a Call of Duty game. Do you know how big this game is? I think this is the biggest Dragon Ball game. What other like Xenoverse is still like twenty eight something gigs, even with all the DLC, and and freaking um what you call it Breakers is so small, Fighters is so small, Kakarot is kind of big. This is probably their big. Is this their biggest game? Their biggest game. Look how much storage that takes up. One hundred freaking gigs. That is crazy. So now this copy is for display, um, obviously. So it's probably somebody picking it up or probably picking up a copy review copy i believe um yeah but i i yeah like somebody said it right here like i delete like i, and I got black myth wukong on my pc so i will delete ncaa ain't even that big on mine uh uh cod fortnite uh, gone gone for my system gone anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this uh little update video and everything we got some new information on spark and zero i told you guys i saw i seen the leaks i haven't i haven't seen the leaks but I seen the thumbnails slow over here uh, in, in, in the corner right here posting. I saw President wrote A lot of people are posting. If you want to see the leaks, I'm not really, I don't trip over them for real. I just trip because I don't want to see them. Like, I physically do not want to see them. I want to actually be surprised. This is like this is like a, a, a game that I don't want to sap out any excitement. I want to keep every excitement that I've been having so far. That GT trailer was crazy, so I want to make sure I'm y'all. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. I ain't gonna lie on this. On this one, bro, I'ma sit out. I'ma sit out. Y'all got it. Y'all got the leaks. It have at it. Have at it. But I ain't. I ain't. I ain't, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Anyway, we are definitely gonna be getting into some more what if stories, what if content, and everything. I'm gonna be dropping a lot of what if content. And I'm going to be doing sort of a Dragon Ball game review uh, where I review and, and play some through some of the older Dragon Ball games like BT3, Raging Blast. Those will drop the week before Sparking Zero. And those will kind of be chill, a chill week. Probably not going to be posting as much. Definitely got to get things ready. Make sure we're getting ready to, for the release. Uh, you know, us as content creators, it's, it's not really just playing a game for us. This is definitely a gateway to um, possibly entering a new tier in our content creation, in our growth, in our in our um, journey. So if you're a small content creator, if you're if you're covering Dragon Ball, let's 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 collab. Let's get together. I, I definitely want to play against and 
collab and do things with a lot of other people. So, uh, let me let me know. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new. We'll get on some more Sparky Zero content. Peace.